In this video, I will show you the quickest and easiest way to get started with the new NA10 AI starter template. We will set up Windows subsystem for Linux. We'll install a distribution of Ubuntu. We'll then install Docker desktop and connect it to our Windows system for Linux. Next, we'll install VS Code and connect it to our Windows system for Linux. We will then clone the NA10 AI starter template from GitHub. We'll use Docker Compose to deploy and run NA10, meaning it will be accessible from our browser locally. This setup will allow you to run local AI models on your system and use them directly in NA10. One of the main benefits of this setup is that you'll be able to utilize your system's GPU for local AI models if you have one. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do to get NA10 working on our system locally is install Windows Subsystem for Linux. So to do this, we will open a new terminal. Simply press the Windows key, type in terminal, hit enter, and this will open up our terminal window. Within our terminal window, we can type in this command, which is WSL dash dash install. This will install the Windows Subsystem for Linux. And then at this point, we're going to choose a distribution that we want to install as well. So distribution is a version of Linux um, that you want to run on the Windows subsystem for Linux. In this case, we're choosing Ubuntu 24.04. So we can hit enter, say yes to any prompts that arise, and this will install the Windows subsystem for Linux with Ubuntu. Okay, once we have successfully installed Windows Subsystem for Linux with Ubuntu, we will need to reboot our system. So we'll do that now. Okay, so we have now rebooted our system. And the first thing it's going to do is ask you for a username. In this case, no code creative and a password. Then we can see our installation is successful and we have successfully set up Windows Subsystem for Linux with Ubuntu. Okay, so the next part of the process is to download and install Docker Desktop. So we'll come to dockerdesktop.com and we will download for Windows. Once the download is complete, we'll open the file. And then we'll go through the installation process. Ensure we have use WSL2 turned on. Okay, now once the installation is complete, we will need to restart Windows. So we'll do that now. Okay, so we have now successfully restarted Windows and we can see that Docker has opened up if we just accept the service agreement and then we can see the Docker engine will then start. Okay, Docker is now running. The first thing that we'll want to do is make sure that Docker is connected to our Windows subsystem for Linux. So we'll click on the settings icon We'll come down to resources and WSL integration. If this isn't toggled on, do toggle it on and then press apply and restart. Once that's done, you can open a new terminal and at this stage we can confirm that the Docker desktop is connected to our WSL2 system. And to do this, we can simply type in Docker and it will give us all the commands that are available, which verifies it's installed and we can also type in docker compose we'll be using docker compose to run na10 so let's confirm docker compose is available and it is great so we have successfully set up um, our windows subsystem for linux okay so the next part of the process is to come to code.visualstudio.com and download visual studio for windows and there are multiple ways to interact with the windows subsystem for linux and to set up any 10 and to use Docker Compose. Uh, my preference is to use Visual Studio Code uh, rather than doing it in the terminal. But of course you are free to do this as you choose. But for this tutorial, we will use Visual Studio Code. So let's get it installed. So once we have installed and launched Visual Studio Code, the first thing that we want to do is come down to the extensions tab and we want to install uh, our remote development tools, which will allow us to connect directly to the WSL system. So if you type in remote, first option that should come up is remote development. Press install. 
And then we also want to install um, the Docker extension as well. Okay. Now, once this is done, if we come over to our Remote Explorer, uh, from the drop down up here, we can change it to WSL targets. And here we can see our Ubuntu system. And then we can open the system in VS Code. So we can now come over to Explorer, open folder, and this will display the file structure for our Ubuntu system. And I'm going to open up the home folder. And then within the home folder, I'm going to create our file structure. So I'm going to create a parent folder. I'm going to call it www. And then in here, I'm going to open any integrated terminal. Then the next step is to clone the GitHub repo for NA10. Um, so on this occasion, we're going to use the new NA10 AI starter template. I will leave all the commands in the description, um, but we want to type in git clone and then the URL of the repository in question and then hit enter. And then we can see we have the repository cloned to our uh, Linux system. And we can come up here and go open an integrated terminal. Let's have a look. We can see all the files that are there. We can also see them here. And the reason I like to do this in VS Code is because we can easily navigate to files and edit them. So in this case, we want to have a look at the Docker Compose file. Um, I'm not going to go through Docker Compose in this video, but here you can see um, all the services that will be running when we uh, pull and deploy this template. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is type in docker compose up hyphen D. This will pull the NA10 images and um, everything that's in the docker compose file and start the services and we'll then be able to access the NA10 interface via our local system. Okay, so we can see that all of the images have been successfully pulled the containers have been created and started. Uh, if we head over to our Docker extension, uh, we can then see everything running here. I have noticed this container uh, has stopped, but it is an import container. So hopefully that won't make any difference to what we're trying to do. You can right click on this and have a look at the compose logs. And it says the editor is now accessible. So everything appears to be uh, up and running. We can copy this URL, or we can actually have a look at Docker Desktop and we can come to our containers and you can see the stack that is running with the containers in it. You can have a look and we can actually just click onto this link and this should open up NA10. So we now have successfully set up NA10 and we are now in the NA10 interface. So we're now ready to start experimenting and uh, building automations with NA10. Okay, so to find out more about the NA10 self-hosted AI starter kit, do head over to the NA10 docs. Uh, I hope you've found this video useful. In this video, we have uh, set up Windows subsystem for Linux. We've deployed a distribution of Ubuntu. We've installed Docker Desktop, and we've got everything working with VS Code, and we have spun up NA10 using Docker Compose all in one short video. So I hope you found this useful. Do give the video a like and do subscribe for more similar content where we will dive deeper into N8N in the near future.